Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. Today's video has been fairly highly requested. Um, I didn't think that any of you guys would like to watch a video of me creating one of the lip art pieces that I do for Instagram, but uh, apparently I was wrong because several of you asked for it on here and then I ran a poll on Instagram and it was like 89% voted for yes. So today I'm going to do one here on camera. It's gonna have to be a little bit different than my usual videos though. Obviously I can't do a talk through while I'm doing like complicated artwork on my mouth for obvious reasons. So I'm gonna let you guys know in advance what I'm gonna to use to do it. Um, I'll zoom you guys in super tight so you can see really clearly and I'll make some annotations on the screen about what product I'm using and if there's like any like little note about why that I can think of, I'll put that on the screen too. And then if you guys have any specific questions about how I do it, why I do a certain part of it a certain way, etc., etc. Um, just leave me a comment down below and I will be happy to jump into the comment section and answer any questions that you might have. So I think that should get like, you know, all the bases covered. And I know I could do a voiceover, but I hate doing voiceovers, not because I don't like doing them, like sitting down and doing them, but I never feel like they sound natural and like, I don't know, they just never come out as good as I would like them to. So I would prefer to do a non-talking video without the voiceover, if that makes any sense. So to begin with, I have started by prepping my lips. I did a lip scrub before I started. I used the Lush Christmas flavored one. It's the one that tastes like cola. I think it's called Santa something, but it doesn't matter. Any sugary, like any sugar-based gritty lip scrub will get the job done. After that, I applied a plumping balm. I used the Dr. Lip Bangs one, which a few of you pointed out, they do not advertise to be a plumper, but I promise you it's a plumper. I promise. Like, I don't know why they say that, because it does plump your lips big time and it buzzes like crazy. So I don't know. And then I applied a very thick, heavy lip balm. This is like a random one that I recently got off of Amazon and I do like it, but I haven't used it enough to really endorse it for you guys just yet. So any thick lip balm that you find like really moisturizes your lips will do the trick. Um, definitely before you ever do any sort of a lip art type of thing, you want to prep your lips well, because let me tell you, it is a hundred times harder to draw on a lip that's like dry and has deep lines in it than it is to draw on lips that are super hydrated and as plump as they could possibly be for the situation. You know, like, everybody has lines in their lips, but like the less emphasized the lines are at the moment of actually applying the lip art, the better. I 100% of the time always use a matte liquid lipstick as a base because uh, it's obviously the best canvas. You can draw over the top of it and it doesn't move. Today I'm going to be using Anastasia Dusty Rose, but you could really use any color you want. Um, I really, really, really highly suggest using one that dries down completely though, because the less smudging and the less moving you have to worry about, the better. I'm also going to be using this eyebrow pencil. This is the Precisely My Brow in number six from Benefit. Any hard, skinny brow pencil is perfect. Um, you don't absolutely need this, but for certain things, when it's like a more precise line, especially like a geometric type line, um, I like to put down a brow pencil in the general shape that I'm going to be doing first. So that way I have to think about it less and I can just kind of use all of my concentration to get it straight and like put it on smoothly rather than thinking about where I'm going with it. So I'll draw on a general shape and then I'll go over it with whatever liner that I'm using. I also have two black brush tip liquid liners here. One is Kat Von D Tattoo Liner and Trooper and the other one is the NYX Epic Ink Liner Pen. Both of them are great. Both of them are very precise. Um, for general use, I always prefer the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner, but uh, sometimes for lip art, I want something that has a lot more flow to it, that has like a lot more product coming out in one swipe. And the next one definitely has more product coming out at the tip in one swipe than the Kat Von D one does. It doesn't provide the same precision. So for the more precise parts of what I do, Kat Von D is where it's at. So that's why I usually keep both of those on deck. I don't really usually know what I'm going to need before I go into the drawing part. So like I just keep both there so I have them within reach. Also very much for the same reason, I have two white liquid eyeliners. One is the Urban Decay Razor Sharp Liner in Bump. This one is way more precise and it definitely cracks a lot less than the NYX one does, but it's not as easy to spread it over a larger area. The NYX one, um, as a white liquid liner for your eyes, I don't recommend it. I think it sucks, but 
Uh, for lip art, it actually is pretty decent. Uh, I like to use it to lay down a base of white and then I'll go over and fix any parts of the white that are kind of cracked or patchy looking with the razor sharp liner from Urban Decay and then use this for detailing afterward. So uh, again, just the combination of two products works better. So I always keep them around. And last but not least, I have the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette. Um, I use this to do all of the shading for my lip art. So anytime you see like a three dimensional effect, kind of like, like a drop shadow, anything like that in the lip art, this is usually what I use. Sometimes I'll use the eyebrow pencil to do that as well if I don't need it to be as detailed, but a lot of the times I'll actually use the eyebrow pencil first and then go in with this or just go in with this by itself. So I think that's everything that you need to know before we get started. I'm going to move the camera, zoom you guys right in up my nose, and uh, we'll get started. That is all for today. I know this looks super weird on a full face, not really meant for a full face look, but uh, I don't want to take it off yet because I'm going to go take pictures of it so I could post it on Instagram. Which brings me to, if you are not following me on Instagram, please go do so. It's a good time. I post things like this all the time, usually twice a week. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it because that really helps me out. And especially give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it because I would like to know if you'd like to see more things like this where it's not something that you would necessarily try to recreate but rather just something that you're watching like an artistic process on. So um, if you enjoyed that, please, please let me know in a comment as well as ask me any questions in a comment and just give this video a thumbs up to let me know. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already because I would love to have you stick around. Uh, not all of my videos are this out there. So if you're looking for more wearable makeup, we do that too. And sometimes we just do chatty shit. So, um, we do a little bit of everything. So stick around, hit that subscribe button and, uh, that way you won't miss any. Also, like I said earlier, uh, follow me on social media. I'm at Miss Quinn on Instagram where I post these types of things all the time. Uh, you could also chat with me on Twitter. 
And I do still have Snapchat, but I don't really use it as much anymore as I use Instagram stories. So Instagram and Twitter are really where it's at. I'll list that right here on the screen and I'll also list it in the description down below. Thank you guys so much for watching this lip art tutorial and I will see you in the next one.